A technical question. SSD or HD for home server? Uh, curious of life expectancy, planning on investment. Is it worth it? I am a big fan of just traditional hard drives for your home server. I, I have roughly about 120 terabytes here here at the, the house. And obviously with a lot of my video edits, live streams, I, I record everything locally. So I use probably about 60 terabytes of that right now. And uh, each, each live stream usually is about 10, 10 gigs. And then with edits and chopping it up, about another 50 gigs per per live stream and then there's the actual configuration and, and other stuff but i i digress i'm sorry uh you asked about hard drives i usually do i think i'm 16 terabytes and i have eight bays uh something like that and i do like a hybrid setup so i still use spinning platters for most of the hard drives and i usually just do like a hybrid raid type situation and, and it works pretty well uh, I still think that's the most economic and life expectancy on those hard drives. Actually, I just I just did a thing about Seagate. I had this uh, Seagate drive just get out go out on me. The Exos Enterprise uh, Seagate drive. I bought this brand new about two years ago, and it died on me. But again, usually what I like to do uh, th with the Synology boxes, I usually do like a hybrid RAID type situation they have one and it, it's just a fancy way of saying like raid six so usually it's like a raid five with a hot spare so usually when the raid gets degraded a little bit it automatically swaps in the other drive and you don't lose any a lot of performance degradation and then the rebuild happens relatively fast and i also like to kind of keep an extra drive around just to throw in way more economical than doing the ssds and the thing I like about the Synology boxes was typically I do about one to two terabytes of cache. So then when you're doing your transfers, it's still going through like NVMe. And then as it has time, it transfers it to your, uh, your hard drives. And I haven't had any data failure or, or data loss, knock on wood, uh, just doing it that way. So I usually a terabyte or two of cache, depending on how much you're transferring. And then the rest, I like to do all traditional hard drives in a, like a hybrid RAID type situation with a hot spare. And you don't even need to do that if you only were doing like four drives and maybe like only 40 or 50 terabytes. But when you get over 100 terabytes, I feel like you can't really beat the like the RAID 5 uh, or, or RAID 6 type setup with a hot spare. And then for backups, I, I typically do uh, a cloud situation with Backblaze. Backblaze is so cheap, like I can't, you can't really beat it. And so that's that's usually my cloud-based disaster recovery type situation. Uh, is is that type of setup? In SSDs and uh, NVMe drives, obviously all workstations typically have that. Oh, RAID 1, 1 terabyte is enough for you? Yeah, I would just go all SSD. If you're if you're only doing 1 or 2 terabytes, ah, geez, why would you even bother with anything else? Just grab a RAID 1, couple NVMe drives, call it a day. That's my my advice. Uh, I Obviously, I'm talking more, more storage than that. I mean, heck, even 2, heck, even 4 terabytes, I think I would still go NVMe. Just because it's really, it's really gotten pretty cheap. Yeah, H, uh, hard, regular hard drives, once you get about 20 terabytes and above. Sounds about right to me. Uh, cloud storage of choice, Backblaze. 100% Don. You just backblaze.com. I don't have like an affiliate link. Uh, they're so cheap. I don't think their affiliate sales would be worth a damn. <laughs> uh, so you probably don't hear much about Backblaze back, back, back because their affiliate sales would be just awful just because they work on such low margins as is where you'll see like a lot of your more traditional resellers uh, through YouTubers and influencers because they pay out really well with cloud storage uh, where Backblaze I'm sure doesn't. But yeah, Backblaze you can't beat. I, I think you literally it's like 10 bucks for the residential unlimited plan 
and they have great servers, great staff. I had an entire business go down once and we had to grab the Cloudflare uh, or the Backblaze thing. And I think it was like 100 terabytes or I remember. No, it was like 20 terabytes. But the transfer times were going to be too slow. And I remember I think I had to call them up and I think we only paid like four or five hundred bucks. And they shipped us a hard drive like overnight. And uh, yeah, and like I said, I can't say enough good things about Backblaze. They're just the best. I don't know why you'd use anybody else. Yeah. Just my, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's wild. It's wild. And it's great. And they, they allow access to their APIs. You can hook it up into anything. You want to go true Nash. You want to go Synology. You want to go QNAP. You want to go, uh, more, more traditional. You can even go hook up a sand to it using, you know, God bless. I think I was using like an HP left hand or some crap, some ancient technology, even it worked. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's wild. You can't really beat it when it comes to disaster recovery. No, no. Backblaze is the way to go. 100%. Can't beat it. And it's it, very prominent, honestly, in the business community. 